It's Sunday, so you know what that means. New Crime Weekly podcast. Comment down below and let me know if you also love this podcast and look forward to the new episodes every week. But anyway, hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do a Sunday reset. This has been a very chaotic week. I just had a lot of things going on that just threw off my usual schedule. Like I haven't worked out at all this week. I got really behind on all of my YouTube work and my apartment is just such a mess. I have so much clean laundry that's just piled up because I just haven't gotten around to putting it away. And I just feel like I am drowning in my to-do list. So. I'm really trying to just get all caught up today so that way tomorrow I can start a fresh week and be back in my usual routine. So it's already 6.30 p.m. I spent the entire day on my computer editing. I edited two vlogs. So now that I feel like I'm caught up with that stuff, I'm ready to get caught up with my apartment and my cleaning it's like embarrassingly messy yeah let me just put myself on blast because you know we keep it real here we are real people and this is real life this is what my kitchen looks like at the moment to be fair most of that is like big pots so it looks a lot worse but um yeah overflowing with dirty dishes I have clean dishes in the dishwasher that I have to put away so that I can load that stuff up. Got to give the kitchen a nice deep clean. I think I'm just going to start in the kitchen. Let's play this podcast and let's start. the dishwasher loaded up before I put that to run and it gets really noisy in here I wanted to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video blue land I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them before they were actually on the show shark tank and I've been seeing them all over social media so I was really excited when they reached out to me I actually have been using their foaming hand soap you can see I made a bit of a dent in it I've been using this for the past two weeks i want to say at least what's great about them and their whole mission is less waste so if you think about it with all of your traditional cleaning products after the bottle is empty you throw it out and it's a lot of single-use plastic and most cleaning products i can pay anywhere from like five to six dollars per product but with blue land you get these reusable bottles and these tablets that comes in eco-friendly packaging and all you have to do is fill your bottle up with warm water and then drop the tablet in cover it back up and just let it sit for a couple minutes to fully dissolve you don't need to shake it up or mix it or anything like that you can see it starts dissolving immediately and then you have your cleaning product and then once you run out all you need to do is reorder the tablets which these are 225 so you're saving yourself a lot of money and then you're reusing these bottles so you're not having to throw anything away it's less wasteful it's better for the environment and their products are made with clean ingredients this one that i have is the multi-surface cleaner I also got the glass and mirror cleaner and the bathroom cleaner. So I am going to fill all of these bottles up. If you guys want to try them out as well, all you have to do is click the link in my description and you'll get 15% off your first kit. Thank you so much Blue Land for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I am going to continue cleaning up this kitchen.
the next day. I honestly just got tired last night and I was like, mm. I'd rather go to bed early, get a good night's sleep, and start fresh in the morning. So that's what I did. Um, I currently have laundry going. I put all of the clean laundry that needs to be folded and put away on my bed. And I emptied the garbage from my bathroom and my bedroom. So we're coming along. It's looking so much better in here than it was. So I'm already feeling a lot better, but I had to pause for a second to take a shower because I have a wax appointment in about an hour. So I'm gonna go do that and also grocery shop while I'm out because I am completely out of groceries. But I, I'm like, wait, why do I have my computer open again? I'm about to put in a maintenance request because I don't know what's going on, but my air condition is just not working and my apartment is 77 degrees right now. This has happened a couple times. I think because it's just like an old unit, sometimes you just have to kind of mess with it. And usually if I just turn it off, reset it, I can kind of mess around with it and get it to start working again. But nothing is happening. Like the fan will turn on, so air is coming out of the vents, but it's not cold air and the temperature is just not going down at all. But one of the really nice things about living in an apartment, at an apartment that is run by like a corporate company, is you can just put in a maintenance request online. And my apartment complex is so good about that stuff. Like usually if I put in a request, especially if I say that it's a high priority thing, they will show up like within the hour. So hopefully they'll be able to get that fixed because I, luckily I don't mind the heat. I'm totally okay with that. I normally don't keep my apartment colder than like 74 degrees anyways, but it is supposed to be like in the high 80s today. So I'm okay with my apartment being like 80 degrees, but I do not want it to be 90. You know what I mean? So I am gonna go get dressed and get ready to go to my appointment. And then when I get back, we'll do a grocery haul and finish cleaning. And I know technically I'm calling this a Sunday reset and it's technically Monday now, but because I work on Saturdays, Mondays are like my Sundays. So it's, it's still a Sunday reset to me anyway. This is exactly why you should not grocery shop when you're hungry. Got a lot of junk food compared to like the stuff that I normally get. I don't know, I was just hungry and everything just sounded good and I was just craving like stuff that's bad for me. Maintenance came by though. According to this, they were here like almost an hour ago and he said that he fixed the HVAC, flow switch was engaged, and that he also replaced the filter. So I don't know what the flow switch is, but the temperature is still reading 78 degrees. It doesn't feel like super hot in here compared to how it is outside. Outside it's really hot, but it doesn't really feel like the air condition is on. And like the air is still blowing out of the vents and it feels cool, but I can't really tell if it feels cold. So I don't know, I'm gonna give it another like 30 minutes or so and see, and if the temperature does not go down at all, I'm just gonna, call them I guess and have them come back but I got an Olipop strawberry vanilla flavor I've never tried these before but I hear great things it's like a pro prebiotics botanicals plant fiber sparkling tonic it only has three grams of sugar nine grams of fiber and it's supposed to kind of taste like a soda I have heard it's amazing so that is pretty good. Wow, I like that a lot. And considering it's like, you know, it's supposed to be good for you. I'm gonna put that in the fridge so it can get a little bit colder. Um, but yeah, let me, let me show you the groceries I got. I'm really not proud, but mini ice cream sandwiches, cookies and cream pie, and then I got breakfast sandwiches. Honestly, I got these for the days that I work at the salon, especially when I have to go in like really early. I just don't really have time to make breakfast and all that. Then I got some salmon, ground turkey. Not everything that I got was bad. I got a big thing of strawberries. 
a big pack of raspberries, asparagus, an avocado. I got refried beans and enchilada sauce. I think I might make bean enchiladas for dinner. And I also got these protein tortillas. I got some Dave's Killer Bread blueberry bagels, which I am about to have one of these right now because I have not eaten yet. I also got these Kodiak blueberry waffles. They have extra protein in them. I just wanted to try them, I don't know. Then I got some more plain Greek yogurt and chicken strips. <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff away, have a bagel, put some raspberries on the side, then we'll continue cleaning. Officially did it. The apartment is all clean. The laundry is all done and put away. Bathroom is nice and clean. And I'm all caught up on my work. Fridge is full with groceries. And everything is finally all caught up. Ugh, it feels so good. But I am going to hop in the shower make myself some dinner and just enjoy the rest of my night that is going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this motivated you to do your chores clean you know knock some things off that to-do list also don't forget to check the description for my link to blue land to get yourself 15 percent off your first kit and i'll see you really soon in my next video bye